Welcome to Cyber World YT, the shadowy realms of hacking, where not all activities lurk in the gray area. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Today we dive into legal hacking. The world of hacking is vast, with a clear line separating ethical hackers who enhance security from those who breach it for harm. This exploration is meant to illuminate the path of legal hacking and to sharpen cybersecurity skills in a responsible manner. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. Do not attempt illegal activities. Now, let's unveil the veil on legal hacking and how you can harness your skills ethically. So, what exactly is legal hacking? Well, let's dive into a world where hacking isn't about causing chaos, but about fortifying security. Legal hacking, more commonly referred to as ethical hacking, is the practice of breaking into systems. But here's the twist. It's all above board. Ethical hackers are the good guys of the cyber world. They use their skills to identify and fix vulnerabilities in software and networks, but they do it with permission. Imagine a digital locksmith who's been invited to pick a lock to test its resilience. That's essentially what an ethical hacker does. They're authorized by organizations to mimic the strategies of malicious hackers. This proactive approach allows them to find weaknesses before they can be exploited by those with nefarious intentions. Contrast this with illegal hacking where individuals breach systems without consent, often causing harm or stealing data. The defining line here is clear, authorization and intent. Thus, the cornerstone of legal hacking is authorization and benevolent intent. With great power comes great responsibility. How do ethical hackers responsibly enhance their skills? In the intricate world of cybersecurity, ethical hackers are akin to digital knights, guardians of our virtual realms. To sharpen their armory, these professionals immerse themselves in specialized environments designed for safe and effective practice. One might wonder, what exactly are these environments? They're known as sandboxes, virtual labs, or controlled settings, where the complexities of real-world systems can be mimicked without any risk to actual data or networks. Imagine a digital playground, where every slide, swing, and seesaw is a potential security challenge. In these sandboxes, Ethical hackers can unleash a full array of cyber attacks, from penetration testing to vulnerability assessments, without causing harm. This is where they test new techniques, refine old ones, and prepare for every conceivable scenario. Moreover, the journey of an ethical hacker often includes rigorous training through various certifications and courses. These educational paths are not just about learning to hack, they're about understanding the ethical implications of hacking mastering the tools of the trade, and staying updated with the latest security technologies and threats. Certifications like Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, and Offensive Security Certified Professional, OSCP, are particularly notable. They require candidates to demonstrate real-world hacking skills in a timed examination, conducted within a virtual lab environment. This ensures that when faced with actual threats, ethical hackers are well prepared, both technically and morally. Practicing in a controlled environment is crucial for honing hacking skills without crossing ethical boundaries. Now, where can you legally put these hacking skills to the test? Welcome to the digital proving grounds, where ethical hackers sharpen their skills within the bounds of the law. Let's dive into some of the top platforms where you can legally challenge your hacking prowess. First up, Hack the Box. This platform is a massive playground for cybersecurity enthusiasts. With a vibrant community and a plethora of constantly updated hacking challenges, Hack the Box offers everything from simple puzzles for beginners to complex systems that even seasoned professionals find challenging. It's not just about breaking in, it's about learning the intricacies of various security systems and understanding how to protect them. Moving on, Try Hack Me takes a slightly different approach. Designed with learning in mind, this platform provides a more guided experience. It offers an array of hands-on learning paths and real-world scenarios, which are perfect for those who are new to the field or looking to specialize in certain areas of cybersecurity. The step-by-step -step tutorials and gamified learning environment make TryHackMe an excellent resource for those who prefer structured learning. Then there's the OASP Juice Shop. It's essentially an intentionally insecure web application designed to be hacked. This platform allows you to test your web application hacking skills in a safe and legal environment. 
OWASP Juice Shop covers a wide range of security vulnerabilities as defined by the Open Web Application Security Project. It's a fantastic tool for those who want to delve into the specifics of web security. Each of these platforms not only provides legal avenues for honing hacking skills, but also fosters a community. Users can collaborate, share insights, and even compete against each other. These interactions enhance the learning experience, providing real-time feedback and encouragement. Remember, while these platforms challenge you, they also teach you the ethics and responsibilities of hacking. They are designed not just to test your technical skills, but to cultivate a mindset that prioritizes security and respect for privacy. These platforms are your playgrounds for legal hacking, where learning meets legality. Why should we even bother with ethical hacking? Well, in a world increasingly dependent on digital infrastructure, the role of ethical hacking is becoming more crucial than ever. Ethical hackers or white hat hackers are cybersecurity experts who use their skills to identify and fix security vulnerabilities in software and networks. By doing so, they prevent these weak spots from being exploited by malicious hackers or black hats. Imagine a world where no one checks the locks on their doors. It would be a paradise for thieves. Ethical hacking is much the same. It's about testing the locks in our digital world. These professionals simulate cyber attacks under controlled conditions to uncover any vulnerabilities. This proactive approach is vital in creating a secure cyberspace, ensuring that personal, corporate, and national security are safeguarded against potential threats. Furthermore, ethical hacking helps in compliance with data protection regulations, ensuring that organizations meet required security standards to protect sensitive data. Ethical hackers are the unsung heroes of the cyber world, turning potential threats into robust defenses. As we wrap up our journey into the world of legal hacking, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've covered today. Legal hacking, or ethical hacking as it's commonly known, plays a pivotal role in safeguarding our digital ecosystem. It's not just about breaking into systems, but about strengthening them against malicious attacks. Throughout our discussion, we've explored how ethical hackers hone their skills in a controlled legal environment. Platforms like Hack the Box provide these cyber guardians with real-world challenges, allowing them to test and expand their abilities in a safe space. The significance of ethical hacking cannot be overstated. It's an essential component of modern cybersecurity, ensuring that our personal and professional data remain secure from threats. By understanding and supporting the efforts of ethical hackers, we contribute to a more secure digital world. Remember, the path of legal hacking is about making the digital world safer for everyone. Subscribe to CyberWorld YT for more insights into the world of cybersecurity. Stay safe, stay curious.